Today, we'll be exploring darts for time series forecasting in Python. We'll be doing this hands-on, walking through some basic modeling and forecasting in a Jupyter Notebook with GPU considerations as an added bonus. Now, you can use any Jupyter environment of your liking. For our particular demonstration, we're going to be using Vertex AI Workbench. All we need to do is enable all the recommended APIs in Vertex AI before going to the Workbench service. So once that's set, let's open up the Workbench service and create a new Workbench instance. We're going to attach an NVIDIA T4 GPU to showcase some of the GPU capabilities of the Darts library. Note that this does increase our cost to about 50 cents per hour, so be sure to turn off or tear down these notebook instances when you don't need them. There's also lots of configurability. You can go to the advanced options here, which gives you an entirely different flow for provisioning these notebooks, and lots of really cool options. We'll opt for the shortcut provisioning options here with the T4 GPU and click to create. Once the instance is up, we just need to click on this Open Jupyter Lab button to be able to access the environment, and we can hit the ground running with Darts. Now, fortunately, Darts is pretty easy to install. We can install it from PyPy using a pip installation command, so we'll do precisely that once our environment comes up here. We'll run that installation, as well as the rest of our experimentation, in a Python notebook here. Let's do a pip install and simply specify darts as the package to install. The installation completed successfully, although there were quite a few dependencies. To avoid unnecessary noise during the install, let's toss in a quiet flag. We'll also comment our code as we go. Next, let's get our hands on some example data needed for our time series mission. Using NumPy and Pandas as our digital wizard tools, we'll create an example data set. We'll also need the datetime library to infuse some datetime fields into our data set. Imagine we're sitting on a year of daily sales numbers. We're simulating a linear trend and tossing in some noise using the NPRandomNormal function. Now let's wrap all this hard work into a neat data frame that will be crucial for our forecasting journey. Our data represents a year's worth of sales, gradually showing an increase. However, the random noise adds complexity and messes up the clean trend. With the setup complete, it's time to dive into the time series arena with From Darts Import Time Series. We're going to feed that data frame into the series using the From Data Frame method. Our guiding beacons are simply date and sales. Now for the exciting part. It's time to bring the models into play. A wide variety of models can be drawn from DART's models. Let's start with an exponential smoothing model. Ever dreamt of predicting the future? Let's try forecasting 90 days of data. We'll predict, compare, and see the preliminary trend emerging out of the chaos.
But wait, let's check if we're actually utilizing our NVIDIA GPU with a quick terminal command. It turns out we aren't using the GPU yet. PyTorch libraries might help us there. Let's pull them in and fire up a recurrent neutral network model. This contrasts with the first model by being both more complex and configurable. Setting up this model is much like setting up the first. Upon execution, our GPU usage shows a surge. Although our model is small, it's awesome that it's running on the GPU thanks to the heavy lifting of the darts library. Now, let's see our prediction. Hmm, looks like our default high parameters aren't giving us great results. Let's tinker a bit with the parameters. We'll dive in and tweak, doubling the hidden dim value. Setting the layer count to two and bringing the dropout to 0.2. Let's see if that improves things. Even with these changes, we might still need to do some standard neutral network pre-processing. We can try scaling the input between minus one and 0.5 to allow some headroom for estimation or perhaps shuffle between minus 0.5 to 0.5 to accommodate both rising and falling trends. Now let's create our series using this transformer. Have you heard about LSTM, which stands for Long Short-Term Memory? Or GRU, which stands for Gated Recurrent Unit? We'll see which works best for us on this neural architecture journey. Ready? Let's roll. These models nicely capture the increasing trend over the prediction window. Just to make things concrete, we might want to do a reverse scaling. We'll see if we can use the inverse transform for that. All right, indeed, that gives us some nice data back. If we look at our data in context, we went from about 100 to 3,700, and then that trend overall continues with this particular model. It looks like we're expecting about 4,200 in daily sales after 90 days. As always, we'll include all notebooks and code in the video description. Thank you very much for watching and please enjoy responsibly.